Welcome to Spencer News Network. Top news today is obviously the weather. Matt Toon is expecting up to 12 inches of the white stuff. Parents, when I say 12 inches of snow, this is what you think of. And kids, this is what you think of. For today, don't forget to sit out your bowl for the snow ice cream. Tomorrow, with only a high of 12 degrees, you will have plenty of time to build Olaf and beg your parents to take you to the best sledding spot. Hump day isn't looking any better with a high of 19 and more snow headed your way. You might as well start building your igloo and get used to it. Thursday is a whopping one degrees warmer. Must be a heat wave coming. Expect a high of 20 degrees. We'll throw, we'll throw that out the window and put on your swim trunks. Just because Friday is only 16 degrees, next week is going to be a triple that. High next Friday is going to be over 45 degrees. Now let's switch to world news. According to Money Shake, there are currently 160 electric vehicles being sold per hour. That's pretty cool. The chances of my first car being electric are pretty high. Up next is national news. An unusually harsh winter storm in Texas has left over 2.5 million customers without power in the state amid dangerously low temperatures. Texas Governor Greg Abbott said Saturday that Texas is bearing a very dangerous winter storm over the coming days that will make moment movement virtually impossible. He called the storm unprecedented in the state's history. Temperatures in North Texas remained below zero as of Monday morning, with Amaro reporting a temperature of minus seven degrees according to weatherwx.com. Dallas had reached 10 degrees by mid-morning with Houston at 20 degrees. Rotating power outages were initiated by early Monday morning meaning thousands were without electricity for periods of time as temperatures fell into the teens near Dallas. <clears throat> Wait a second, I just reported that my first car would probably be an electric and then I reported that millions were out power. Hmm, something doesn't seem right here. Finally, let's wrap things up with a little bit of what I learned this week. <clears throat> One of the chores I have to do around the house is clean the kitchen and do the dishes every day. Halfway through the cycle of the dishwasher, we heard a constant, we heard constant beeps and water pouring onto the floor. I then confessed that I used Dawn because we were out of dishwasher detergent. Let's just say I wouldn't be doing that again. Let me leave you with these final words. Last week I asked you to like, subscribe, and share my video. That helped me a lot. But the more you like my videos, the more traction I get. And don't forget to hit the bell button. And if you didn't catch my la if you didn't catch my last video, let me give you the spill again. Please like, subscribe, share on Facebook, and push that bell button. That way you're notified when I release a new video. Because we wouldn't want you to miss wouldn't want you to miss a Spencer News Network. Now would we? Spencer News Network signing off.